Hi guys, welcome to Core Artisan Lab. This is our 21st video for Django e-commerce website. And in this video, we are going to create load more pagination in our product list page. Okay, so in uh, with the help of jQuery Ajax and Django, we will perform this pagination. So I will I am going to perform this pagination on the all, all product list. So when you go to the home page. And when you click on the all products, here is, uh, we have a link. When we click on the all products, then we will, uh, I am showing here the load more pagination. Currently it is not working, but uh, now we will, uh, we will uh, start to work on this. Okay, so we will implement this load more pagination. So let's start to do this. So first of all, we will click on this we will perform the click event and then we will send the server that how many records you we want to fetch and here we how many records we want to show initially so we have only four products and initially we want to show uh, for this example we will show only three products and when we click on this then we will show the fourth product and when our total products and and our total number of uh, appending element will equal then we will hide the load more pagination okay so let's start to do this uh, first of all what we will do we will open our product list page so here i have a product list page i will open this in uh, sublime and here i have defined this uh, anchor link so first of all, I will replace this with the button. Okay, so this will be a button. Okay, button default functionality is button. And if you want to type the submit, then it will perform the uh, form submission. Okay, and I will give a ID load more. And I will add a class here in this uh, in this box in this box this is the box in this box i will add a class uh, here product box okay so whenever we click on this i will count this box that how many box are currently appearing in this page okay so first of all we will perform this so i will copy this and we will create a new js file in our main static here I will create custom.js ok so here I have added the custom.js and I will write the code dollar document dot ready and now I will perform the on click event And here I will count the total current result current products you can say sorry current products so I will count here product box dot length okay and I will add here one more thing data limit but how many data I want to show more like I have a three, then I want to. Uh, it's a total four, but I'm. Uh, first of all, we will limit this three. Okay, so let's first first thing do. Okay, we will come back to this, but first of all, I will go to the main views.py file, and here we have a product list, and here I will add three. So it will fetch the first three result okay so refresh this so this is the three result then when we click on this that how many data I want to show more so here I will define the limit I want to define the I have defined the limit that I want to show more three data and one more thing I will define data total it means how many data I have total in the uh, database you can see so here I will count the total products so total data so we have a we have a method 
count if with the help of this method it will return the total counting of the products so i will pass here this total data and in this total data i will add this okay so when we click on this i will fetch the total i will fetch the limit the, the we will collecting this because we will send this data to the server okay so this will be our uh, attribute data limit and how many total i have with the help of this we will check and hide the load more button okay now let's console this console log current products limit total okay and now i will uh, link the this custom.js in our product list file okay so in the block content before the end block i will add here i will copy from the base html i will copy this uh, link and i will add it here and i will name it custom.js okay so let's check this refresh this and i will check that i have a custom.js so yes i have a custom.js and it is loading now now i will click on this and console this so i have this console click on this so it is a three so first three is what it is it's a current products and then limit it is a string and then total okay so we have uh, all values now we will send this value with the help of jquery ajax to the function okay so here we will start the ajax start ajax and end okay so we have already performed the ajax in our filter so i will take some help from my filter page so i will copy this code i will copy this and paste it here okay i will copy the full ajax code okay so this so i will add the load more load more data okay and here i will define the data this is the data that we will send to the server so the first data will be limit and the second data will be uh, this will be our limit and second data will be our offset the so offset will be our current products that, ha that uh, how many products it is showing now okay so data type is json and here before send it means in between when we get the response from the server what what we want to show okay so this will this is our load more so i will first of all so this will this is our load more icon load more icon i will add a class and here first of all i will add attribute disable so that user cannot uh, able to cannot able to click on this when we are fetching the response from the server load more attribute disabled and one more class load more icon load more icon okay and i will add a class add class fa spin so this fa spin will be this fs pin will be around this icon make this icon animate okay so fs pin and in the if our data if our result is success then we will this make this false and remove this class okay so let's do this because we have not created this so it will be show this but not uh, actually work the success so we can test this now so let's refresh this page so when we click on this so it is disabled and icon is moving 
okay so we have not created the other things so that it is showing the 404 because we have not created the routes and the functionality okay so let's go to create the route and the functionality so we will open the okay i'm going uh i'm going to urls and i will add here path and this will be our load more data load more data okay so this will be name of our url load more data and in our views.py i will copy this and create a functionality this will be our load more data okay so we don't need this minimum maximum price i don't think we don't we also need this in a product list page okay so i will review that again and if we not need then i will remove, remove that okay so here we need the start so this will be our request dot get okay so we are using the get method if you want to define the post method then you can define with the help of type another attribute another property okay so if you define the type then you then uh, remember that if you define the post method and you have to define the token okay but we have not yet defined the post method method so it will or uh, it will default take the get method so we will we use the get method here start and this will be our limit i will add i will name it offset okay so this will be our limit and we don't need the count here and here we will define what is uh, what is the formula of this uh, result that uh, i want to skip this and then fetch the this result okay so this will be this will be get another three result from the database okay so here we are running the filters in the filters what we are doing we have created the page when we click on this then we send the response to that page and that page create the html and return the response as a template so here we are doing if you if you are following this series then you will understand all the things okay if you are new then please uh, review the filter video and another videos then you will understand all the things so i will copy this okay i will copy this and okay i will remove that and here i will pass the data okay so product list html in the ajax file so in the ajax file here we have a ajax file we also need to add here product box okay so we will copy this and this okay so when we click on this we will append the data so we are returning the data as a json so here we are returning the uh, data as a json so what we will do we will uh, we have a id filter products so we will append the data in this div so we will append append the data so here we have a data response dot data because we are returning the data okay so let's check this all is work uh, okay now we need to change this according to the route i will upload all the things on the github so please review the code okay if you are doing practice along with the uh, along with this uh, video then it will best okay so okay let's check this so when we click on this it is showing 500 internal error so let's check this what it is saying it is saying start okay so we need to okay we are sending the offset but we are getting the start okay we need to set this offset okay let's refresh this and we will click on this again we are uh, some response okay 
one thing more this should be int so here int okay so this will be int so it will convert the string into int okay so let's refresh this again click on this so here you can see that we have a fourth uh, we have a fourth product okay so if you have a 10 product then you will fetch the another three then you will fetch the another three you can set the limit and offset according to a requirement now the last thing we need to do we need to hide this load more button if our total result and our showing result is equal okay so that i have uh, i am getting the total this uh, total result in this total variable okay so after appending we need to find the length so here i will find i will get the length where total okay so here i will check if total equal equal to if total equal equal to uh, where is the total okay we need to uh, we are sending the just a minute okay so this product box length and this total okay this to actually this variable is same so that i have confused so this is total showing okay so this is total showing if total showing equal equal to total then what we will do we will remove this we will not hide this we will remove that remove that element okay so let's click on this so element has been removed so i have uh, implemented the load more pagination okay so if you run on this server then it will show the spinning icon and all the things because we are working on the local host so that it is uh, hide instantly okay so i have implemented this you can try with this filter we will also work we will i will implement i will create another video and implement this with the filter but you can try this with filter on yourself okay so practice it more and under, uh, try to understand the all the things okay so you will understand okay so i think i have created all the i have created this uh, i have created this load more pagination if you any query any doubt then please add in the comment section and uh, like this video share this video comment your thoughts about the about the project about anything okay so subscribe my channel and uh, follow this channel thank you and click on the bell icon also so thank you thank you so much